I'm Hunter Kelly here with Kate Campbell, and we are here to talk about one of the unsung tourist destinations of the South, the Shack Up Inn. Kate, where's the Shack Up Inn? It's down in Mississippi. Is that a surprise? <laughs> no, it's not. So it's close to, uh, I always get Clark's, I shouldn't get Clarkstone, Cleveland. I think it's outside of Cleveland. Somebody can look it up. The Shack Up Inn, they took old chair cropper shacks, real, you know, and then they turned them into like, it's a hotel. They also have, I think, some regular little hotel rooms, and they have music there, and they have a uh, barbecue and stuff too, and a little gift shop. It's good. And then you can, you can, your room for the night can be one of these old shacks that they, you know, redid, and and it's it's got like a kitchenette in it and everything. So I forgot how I heard about it, but I was down there a couple years ago, and I had a couple extra days, and I thought. I'm just going to see if I can get a room at the shack up in. So when I, so I went online, looked all up, and I called up there. And I found out that one of the shacks has a piano in it. Maybe there's another one, too. And I thought, well, that could be fun. And I really still couldn't imagine. I just looked online, and somebody told me about it. So I get there, and uh, it must have been the summer or spring or whatever because it was warm enough to where they, they had uh, you know air conditioning you know unit, not central. Uh-huh, <laughs> you know, it was uh-huh. in the window, right? And uh, so I walk into my shack, right? And there's the bed, there's the AC going, and right next to the bed is this old piano, an upright piano, right next to the bed, you know? And y'all, I just was there. I was in the Delta. There was It was in the middle of cotton fields. And I just started, I sat down at the piano, and I started thinking about my song, A Cotton Field Away, from my first record. And that I, that's what it was like. I was in, But I was in this, you know, redone shack of a sort. And I stayed up all night with that air conditioner going and sang into my iPhone, kept trying to play A Cotton Field Away. I think I did some uh, look away, too. I did a couple, just playing that upright piano with the, you know, air conditioner going and singing into my iPhone. And it just was interesting to me as always, but every time I go, particularly to the Delta and to Mississippi, but really all over the country, there are places like this. I once again think (laughs) there's a lot of poverty. Yeah. And a lot of stuff going on. And if you don't, if you don't recognize that you're, you're not paying attention. And, um, I think about that particularly though, when I as, as a little girl, when I was, down there, and those are my earliest memories: is the cotton being everywhere. Mm-hmm. And some of y'all seen the the pictures we've been showing of the church, yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood Baptist, Baptist Church, church. Um, recently. But uh, yeah, it was one of those nights. So I think we're gonna. I, and I just sang through my iPhone, but I think we we might are gonna. Oh yeah, so this it. is yeah. it. Let's just drop it in right here. Yeah. This is Kate Campbell, a cotton field away, live from the shack up in. So here I am at the Shack Up Inn, a B&B down in Clarksdale, Mississippi, made up of old cheercropper shacks, which I find quite interesting. And in mine, I have a Carter & Sons upright piano that I think sounds very good. And I've been up most of the night just playing, singing, and... Uh, So I thought I might try to tape some of it. The noise going on in the background is air conditioning unit that I'm not supposed to turn off. Child of three reaches out to touch and only sees pretty powder puffs down the road a black child plays and the dreams he holds like a cotton field away the fires burn
we met in school A court's decree I learned real soon You were a lot like me Across the land They say things have changed But still we stand Kate, thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. Well, it's just one of those things everybody should drive around America. And I, that's been the biggest gift to me. I had no idea I was going to have the opportunity to do what I do. So it's been it's been a real trip. Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's good. <laughs>